Hey YouTube, today we're going to step outside my comfort zone a little bit and we're going to talk about AR-15 rifles. And I would say AR-15 rifles is one of the things that I knew the least amount of about. But I know enough to be dangerous and we'll see if we can fumble through this and see if we can learn some information. So what we have in front of us here, we have a pair of Daniel Defense rifles. Yeah, the one on top is a DD4, DDM4 V5, and the one on the bottom is a DD4 V7. And I'm going to show you some of the differences and why I choose these rifles, and we'll see if we can learn something here. So the first one I'm going to pick up here, and I'm going to show you that it's not loaded, is a Daniel Defense. This is a... DDM4 V5, and you can see the Daniel Defense on the bolt carrier here. And what this is, is this is a quad rail version of an AR 15 rifle. And this particular rifle I have outfitted with a SIG Bravo 3 optic. It's like a prism optic, it's got a slight, like three times magnification. And I have a surefire light on it. Now, folks. I shoot rifles left-handed and I have this light just mounted here where I can just touch it with my thumb and it comes on off of the vertical grip here. Now these are awesome rifles folks. Daniel Defense is a company that came out in the early 2000s and started producing rifles and what they do is they make everything in-house and they make all their receivers, all their barrels and everything's made in-house. They don't outsource all this stuff and everything like all these other companies do. So you're going to pay a little bit of a premium when you buy these things. But they're very well fit together. They're very well, you know, tight tolerances and everything. They make all their, they sell all their accessories like this butt stock here and this pistol grip here. And they sell all this stuff that you can buy. These vertical grips are all Daniel Defense. And they put their name on everything. And I would too if I was a company like this. <clears throat> but what put them on the map is their rail system here. And this rail, the actual military actually adopted this. And I believe that they are actually replacing the Knight's Armament rail systems with the military guns and that's what really when they got that military contract to start producing these rails and then they started buying rifles from them prices really started going up on them they make these um their own flash hiders and everything like that this is like a bird cage flash hider but you can see how well it's crafted it's just a really way mill big gun they make all their own barrels in the house every piece of this gun's made in house so these things are not cheap when they um when you go to purchase one but when you get one you can literally make this the only rifle you own because you're gonna have the best now one of the complaints that i have with daniel defense rifles is when you buy them they have probably one of the worst triggers that i've ever felt in a rifle ever <clears throat> and i understand why they do it you would think that you spend this kind of money on a rifle they would take a little bit better care to put a trigger in it because the trigger is probably the most important part of any firearm. But they don't do that. They put a regular GI trigger in it. And the reason they do that is because everybody that's in the ARs usually puts their own kind of spice on things and puts their own triggers in. And what I have in this thing is a CMC single stage trigger and I'll show you. This thing is awesome. There's no take up and it just goes off. Single stage, it's unbelievable, folks. The way this rifle works, it's just, it's just so crisp. I know people will argue on what is the best kind of trigger to put in a rifle, and my argument is going to be CMC. They're drop-in triggers. They're very well priced for what you get and they clean break you can get them in any pound break that you want and that one happens to be the two and a half pound one very awesome rifle i like daniel defense a lot and that's why i chose to go with that it's probably the, my favorite rifle that i own is that v5 up there and i'm glad to own it now the second one we have here is a daniel defense ddm4 v7 and I'll show you that this one's not loaded. 
nothing in it we're clear now this is a dd4 m7 I'll show you some of the close-ups of it and you'll see clearly written on here it says dd m4 v7 and it's also chambered in 556 now this one is olive drab green and you may ask yourself why did i buy an olive drab green rifle daniel defense rifle well, folks this one came along and was offered to me for sale and i really wasn't in the market for another daniel defense rifle because they are absurdly expensive <clears throat> but when they told me what they wanted for it i said you have to buy that rifle you have no choice because i got a really good deal on this rifle this rifle was brand new in the hard case it had never been fired and it was offered to me at a price that i actually thought was a joke and when i found out it wasn't a joke i just said i'm just gonna have to buy it now the difference in the v7 and the v5 is this one's got a actual m lock rail on it and this is a lightweight gun this one's quite a bit lighter than that quad rail one over there and one of the other differences on it is it's got ambidextrous safety on it and that's important to left-handed shooters and the crazy thing is i'm a right-handed person when i shoot rifles i shoot left-handed and i do not use the ambidextrous safety on it i've gotten so accustomed to doing it with my finger over here shooting i'm left-handed that it's almost feels wrong to use the ambidextrous safety so that really doesn't matter to me, and that's just one thing that was offered. But this rail system is extremely light, extremely high quality, and these rifles will take anything. Now, this thing's just got a simple hollow some red dot on it, and that's what was on it when I bought it. And I don't have any plans to remove it or anything. It just seems to work. Now, I'm going to give you an example of this. This is a factory Daniel Defense rifle. I've only taken it to the range one time. And if you look at this trigger on it, this thing is awful. First of all, it feels like it's about 100 pounds. And it's kind of gritty feeling and all that. And I just think they could have put a little bit better effort into their triggers for the amount of money that they spend. But what I see here, the differences is, it's got a little bit shorter foregrip on it. It's got a lighter rail on it, which is an M-lock versus the quad rail on the other one. And it's got an ambidextrous safety on it. Other than that, all Daniel Defense rifles have the same exact barrel, same exact bolt carrier groups. They come with the same buffer setups on them. They have the same pistol grips on them, the same stocks, same buffer tubes, same everything. You get no less or no more quality when you change the V's on it. It's just whatever, however they accessorize the rail is usually what it is. Now this DD4, DDM4 V5 up here, I believe now it's just called an M4, a DDM4. I don't even think they put a V on it, and that's the one with the quad rail on it. And that's the one I prefer. My problem with stuff like M locks and everything is if you're gonna attach something onto this, most of the times you put a little attachment of a piece of Picatinny rail on it, because that's what most stuff mounts to. Well, that one already has continue rails on four sides how much more stuff can you put on there i'd rather just go with that one plus i think it looks cooler with these little covers on them and everything like that but that's just all personal preference and i just wanted to show you a couple of differences in a daniel defense ddm4 v5 and a ddm4 v7 and do i like olive drab green it wouldn't have been my first choice i think it looks pretty cool and when it was offered to me, I couldn't pass it up. So, anyway, folks, let me know what you think about Daniel Defense Rifles. If you think they're worth the money or if you think they're an absolute ripoff. I think they're worth the money because they're high quality. I like high quality stuff. I like all my stuff to work every time. I like it to work if I was under stress in it. And these things are proven. They have been torture tested to the ends and they don't fail. So, anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching this little video today on these rifles, and you folks have a great day.